Hello doers and welcome back. In this video we're going to cover product types in Odoo Inventory. For starters, a product is an item that a company sells, and at Stealthywood we've got lots of them. They could be in the form of a virtual item or a physical item. Now the product type in Odoo is defined by whether the product is storable, consumable, or it's a service type product. Now in Odoo, consumable products are physical products that don't need their inventory level managed meaning they're almost always available. This can be stuff like nuts, bolts, cleaning supplies, coffee, printing paper, pretty much anything that Steve ruins and we need to replace. As opposed to consumable, storable products in Odoo are physical items, for which we do need to manage the inventory level. Because of that, storable products will appear in both the inventory valuation report and the stock report. And last but not least, we have the service type product. Now, service products in Odoo include any service performed by a business that's offered for sale, think consulting, installation, repairs, stuff we don't have Steve doing. For example, at Stealthywood, we offer a furniture assembly service as a service product. But enough chit chat, Odooers. Let's dive into our Stealthywood database and show you how those work. So first, I'll show you how to create a new product and set the product type inside of Odoo Inventory. Now to do that, we're gonna go up here to Products, Products, and select New in the top left. Great. Now this is the product form over here. And I want you to make your way over to the product type. Now. We have three options as well. We have a storable product, a service product, as well as a consumable. Now, let's kick things off with a closer look at a storable product that I've already configured. So we're actually gonna discard this and go back over here. So, storable products. In Stealthywood's inventory, and probably for most other companies too, this product type accounts for the majority of our items. So let's see what these are all about by taking a closer look at one of our storable products. In our case, we're gonna select the office lamp. Now, as we can see, under the general information tab over here, it's listed as storable product. You'll also notice from the on hand smart button over here, we actually can tell immediately how many units that we're gonna have on hand. Now, when an order is completed for this item, the stock on hand will go down and reordering rules can be set to replenish the stock automatically as well with these little rules that we have right there, as you can tell. Minimum five, maximum 10. For more on that, check out our video on reordering rules. Now, it's important to note that Odoo will actually prevent the delivery of storable products if we don't have enough in stock. Now, this might be easier to understand if I show you what I'm talking about. So, let's place an order for more lamps than we have in stock right now. Since we have zero on hand right now, that should be pretty easy. So, to do that, let's go out of here, go into sales, select a new quotation. All right, we're gonna make a new order and we're always gonna pick on Azure Interior. They love getting our stuff. And we're gonna go back over there to those office lamps that I was just talking about. And we're gonna say we want three of them right there. All right, now click confirm. And as you could tell, when I click on the delivery smart button up here, and when we try to go over here to validate, there's an error and that's why I paused for dramatic effect. We can't validate the delivery. Let's close out of that pop-up right there. And we can also even see that the product availability is not available as well. Hammering home that we can't even work any further with the on-hand stuff that we have right yet. So the way to get around this though is to either place a new purchase order to replenish our stock of this product or we gotta use pre-existing reordering rules to replenish. All right, on to our next product type then, consumables. So for this section, you'll notice we're on a different product, and that's because here at Stealthywood, we're nuts about bolts. So much so that we have our very own consumable product, which is this bolt. Now you'll notice that we actually have no stock on hand button up here. Something appears to be missing, our doers. This is because again, as a consumable, this product doesn't have its stock levels monitored at all. So what does this mean for reporting? An inventory report is a count of the total unsold products in stock. The stock isn't tracked and therefore there's no value associated with the product. But let's go check that out now so I can show you what I mean. So go up here to reporting and stock. Once that this loads up, type in bolt and nothing. And that's because when we view the stock slash inventory report and search, there's no record of it because there's no inventory level for the product. And that's due to the fact that in our warehouse, we visually inspect the consumable stock and only order more when we actually think we need more. So the only document needed for this particular purchase is a vendor bill. Since the real inventory for consumable products is not tracked and it doesn't have any effect on the inventory valuation, we don't often sell products as consumables, at least not alone. 
but in some cases it does make sense to include consumables in a sales order. For example, you can include a pack of nuts and bolts with furniture sales and can also include nuts and bolts in bill of materials for furniture that you assemble before shipping. Does that make sense, oh doers? Of course, but as always, let's see it in action. So we'll test how a sales order works for consumable products. Now to do that, we're actually gonna go out of here into sales because we're a salesman, create a new quote. We were just talking about furniture and stuff like that. So we're gonna go with the person addicted with decorating and we're gonna add our product. In our case, we're gonna type in bolts using that dandy search feature and a hundred of them. All right, we're all set here and I'm actually gonna confirm the sales order because I wanna show you something. I'm gonna open up that delivery smart button and you'll notice something. From here, we can see that the product is available even though we don't have any stock on hand listed for this item. And you'll always see that and it's one of those things that kind of makes it super, super interesting. So it's important to know that Odoo will allow the sale of consumable items even if there isn't technically enough of it in our inventory. We saw that the product availability was listed as available right here. And even though we don't actually show any smart buttons that disclose that stock, why is that? Well, it should also be noted that consumable products can't be tracked using lots or serial numbers in Odoo. So be sure to keep that in mind as well, Odooers. And that's it. Alrighty, Odooers, we're in the home stretch here. Now, as you can see, we have our furniture assembly service, which is a service product type. Now, just like consumable products, Stock is not managed for this product type, which you can actually see from the lack of an on-hand smart button up at the top. Now this makes sense because they're services, not physical items. And there's something cool that I want to talk about. Over here next to create on order, when an order is created with one of these, we have the option to use the projects app to help users manage any tasks related to a service product type. You can even use templates. Check out our videos on the projects app to learn more about that. It should also be noted that these service products don't appear in reporting for inventory valuation and they won't be found in the inventory report either. This is because service products cannot be stocked. And that's it for this video. We covered a lot of stuff. Three main product types you'll use in Odoo's inventory app. And we talked about useful ways to use them. That's all for now though. To learn more about inventory, the other apps, everything, check out our tutorials and our documentation. Until next time, I love you bro doers.